I wanted to draw a skull because the skull created the facial features. I used monochromatic blue because blue makes me feel calm and relaxed. I faded the black into blue because it makes the skeleton look like it's disappearing. What inspired me the most was the model of my figure and the fit through the pencils for my figure. The most challenging part was to try to fit in the pencils because sometimes it has to be squished and squished out. And mostly what I was thinking about if my pencils are fitting in together in the right shapes and that my contrast and depth are correct. What inspired me the most was the shape, the nature of the horse that I was trying to draw and sketched out. The challenge part was mostly trying to make it come back to life, make it more realistic with my contrast and depth in each part of my horse. And mostly what I was thinking about if every one of part of the colors that I drew was correct and that it would be good for the rodeo. The thing that inspired me was how calmly the dog was sitting and how relaxed he was. I tried to show that emotion in my art. While I was making it, I was trying to think of how to do the wood texture. In my art, I love to represent the beauty of nature. For this painting, I used bright yellows to make it stand out. For this painting, I decided to paint a bee because they represent community brightness and togetherness. And they symbolize personal power. That is why I chose to paint this. I got inspired by a photo of a goat. The thing that challenged me the most was drawing the fences to look realistic. Additionally, Billy is a nickname of a male goat. Therefore, the drawing is called Billy Goat. Drawing many realistic things is a goal for me, and animals was also a challenged thing. And I also struggled with many things in the art, but in the end, I enjoyed it and I had fun creating it. And I was pleased with it. One of the many things that inspired me during this project was this old film that I used to watch when I was very little called The Smurfs. What specifically inspired me was these houses that they used to live in, which were mushrooms. So that kind of just sparked the inspiration to me. One of the things that challenged me a lot was trying to make the scenery as realistic as possible and trying to fill up all of the spaces and make everything go together. I always look at the moon at night and my family adores the moon too. And the thing that challenged me to draw the moon was how realistic and detailed it is, but I wanted to draw the moon's beauty anyways. While working on this project, I was inspired by my family tree's background of selling cows to make money. What I really wanted to pay attention to was to bring it to life and to add as much detail as possible. What I was worried about while doing the project was trying not to mess it up and trying to add as much detail.